Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jupiter Zeus. Jupiter Zeus. Jupiter Zeus. Why do I say that? Jupiter, a Roman mythological god. Right? You know, like, uh, you know, you know the mythological gods, you know, uh, are false gods. Uh, usually drawn from the idea of older civilizations and their deities and their ancient deities. The Greeks and the Romans did a lot of that. They looked at ancient deities from the ancient Nubians, the Egyptians, and all these other people, the Sumerians, and they wanted their own gods too. They didn't think it was right that, you know, black men had pictures of, and black women, they had pictures of, um, you know, they're gods and supreme beings on earth. And, you know, they didn't think that was right. That, you know, blacks had were looking up to supreme beings on earth. They wanted their own highest source of supreme beings to look like them. And they imagine after their likeness. So what did they do? They created their own gods and their image and after their likeness. Unlike the Bible where it says that man created God and his image and after his likeness. Man did it in reverse. Mankind, the beast, created his gods his own gods and his image and after his likeness. So you had your Roman god, you had your, actually you had your Greek god first. The Greeks were first. And they had their god Zeus. You know, Zeus. Uh, god of lightning and thunder and all this stuff, you know. And then you had your, uh, later, Zeus, um, Jupiter came from the Romans. The Greeks became the Romans over time. Right? This is why you hear the word Greco-Roman. They put them together because the two, cat one carried over into the next, right? And they kept the same God. They just changed the names. So Jupiter became Zeus. And through time, when the uh, Catholic Church was starting to, you know, create a certain code of laws and customs and things like that, basically the first foundations of a religious structure, they needed ideas. They needed doctrine. They needed characters. They needed uh, a, an image that was already out to build upon. So they took from a lot of different places. They took from, uh, of course, the ancient Greek god Jupiter. I mean the ancient Roman god Jupiter and the ancient Greek god Zeus and combined the two names to make Jesus or Jesus. Jesus, the newly, the newly created uh, God or Son of God in their newly found religion, Christianity, Jesus Christ. The word Christ means anointed in Greek. You understand? Now, this uh, Jesus Christ person was, in fact, an amalgamation of a lot of different ancient characters from ancient Egypt, from Horus, and uh, his mother Mary was... Isis or Set. You had uh, Tammuz from Sumeria. You had a lot of different, uh, you know, stories that were intertwined into this character that the uh, theologians of the Catholic Church, when they were putting this whole thing together in the Council in the Sea in 325 A.D., they were, you know, fishing for stories, you know, to create things. They went into the Sumerian story and they got the idea for the creation of the earth, you know, the, which became your Genesis. They went into the uh, Sumerian books. They went into the Egyptian books. You notice throughout the Bible, Egypt is a very heavy uh, foundation throughout the Bible. Reason being, reason why they did that is because Egypt is a real place. See, without Egypt, there's no real foundation for the stories in the Bible without Egypt because Egypt is a real place. You can see the people in Egypt. You can see the statues. You can see all this stuff, right? You can see the Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians. Without that, their Davids and their Jesus and their Goliath stories and things like that really has no uh, really has no uh, um, factual content about it. It's just stories. So they needed Egypt to give it some sort of uh, credibility. Even your Jesus. We're going to discuss that tonight. The uh, Jesus Christ person, man-made myth or real man? I am the intellectual Nubin Menkares, and this is State of Mentel Radio, Jesus. Now, 
the story of Jesus, you know, from his time on earth, which is supposed to be 33 years, is very symbolic. The majority of that story is symbolic. The numbers are symbolic of something. People don't understand it if you're not, uh, if you don't understand the codings of the Bible, if you don't understand the number symbols and the symbolism of the numbers, you're not going to get it. I have people talk about the number seven being a um, seal of the Bible, but in actuality, the, the um, great seal of the Bible is the number. The number is number three throughout the Bible, right? And all things that add up to the number three. Your major prophet in your Bible is Jesus, right? Who came about in the New Testament was never mentioned in the Old Testament. Came about in the New Testament. Now your Israelites try to lie and say, "Oh, Jesus is mentioned in the New Testament." These are your modern day Israelites. When in fact the old Israelites, the old Jews, or the old Hebrews, they didn't believe in Jesus. They never talked about Jesus. They just talked about Moses and the old Torah and the old laws. Now Jesus was a new creation in the New Testament, right? So what happened was a lot of these um, Israelites they sold out to the Christian and the Catholic Church. Right, and they wanted to add Jesus or that character Jesus on to their religion because they wanted to be linked up with the Catholic Church and the Christian Church because that was that's where the money was. A lot of these uh, Israelites and the Muslims, they, even them, they sold out too. Right, Jesus popped up in the New Testament, and the New Testament is the creation of the Greeks and the Romans. All except for the Revelation, which is dealing with futuristic book, which we'll get into later. But your Jesus story came directly from Horus and, like I said, other characters. From the time Jesus is 12, he disappears. Right? Notice the 12. One and two is what? Three. You also notice the number 12 as far as 12 tribes of Israel. Uh, um, uh, the number 12 times 12 equals 144,000. 12 is a very heavy number. Then he pops back up on the scene at age 30, right? Number three, right? And then he dies at the age of 33. All these are symbolic numbers. The Trinity, the three wise men, all three throughout the book. Why? Because they were working in a three-dimensional space. Throughout the Bible, this planet vibrates on a three-dimensional space. So the people that put the Bible in effect, the people that took these stories, were creating, try, or trying to create a three-dimensional book, meaning that they were trying to get you to visualize it, verbalize it, and uh, get the uh, uh, audio of it or to hear it. Upon hearing the book, you can visualize it and speak it and recite it. Yeah. These are the three uh, forms or three dimensions in which the book would come out. They wanted to, in other words, they wanted the book to take on a whole different light or a greater light in your mind by appealing to what you see, by appealing to what you hear, and the words that come out of people's mouths as they recite that book, and it worked. Same way they do in motion pictures today. They were trying to do it back then. They were, in other words, they were trying to implant certain things in your imagination, and it worked. It worked. It wasn't enough to uh, create uh, Jesus and make him a mystery. They had to give him more light. They had to give him more of a character. So they had to borrow from the old stories. Jesus studied in Egypt, according to the, sto to the story. Right? I told you Egypt is a very heavy foundation throughout the Bible. All your prophets have been throughout Egypt. Moses and uh, Aaron, all these people went to Egypt. Abraham, right? Everybody is linked to Egypt. So this is why people never question the existence of these characters because you have a real place that still exists today where you can always say these people were, but nobody ever questions why is there no pictures of these people. If the white man can find pictures of people that live uh, uh thousands and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years ago, why you don't have one picture, one real picture of these this person Jesus or these prophets. Right? Reason being why you don't have it is because these people don't exist. 
these people and who were created in these stories were taken from other stories and other characters. The Noah story was made up. It was ca- actually copied from another character named Utnafistum, who was a Sumerian character. The story of um, the story of Moses was copied from Uncle Anton, who led a real exodus out of Egypt and took his people into another part of Egypt to worship the Anton or the One God. That story was copied and added to your Moses story. Right now, your Jesus story, as I said, came from a, diff- a bunch of different stories, but your Jupiter and Zeus, your myth. Or logical or uh, non logical gods, right? Myth or logical, non logical or made up logic, made up logical uh, or made to be false logical gods or created lives was um, done to have control over a people to create a new uh, uh, way of mind control, which is the whole point of religion. If you take the covers off of religion, if you take the uh, shroud of mystery off religion, okay? They went with the Greek and the Roman gods because they didn't have anything else to go by. And they wanted it to be close to the language that they were still speaking. They weren't too far from uh, leaving the ancient Greek and the Roman customs because all that started in Italy and in Rome, right? Right? So they took the gods that they were familiar with. They weren't too far from leaving out of the Greek and Roman culture. So they they just did what they've been doing, create their own god, Jesus. If you look at the picture of Jupiter, the uh, Roman god Jupiter, and you look at the Greek god Zeus, you'll see it looks just like the white Jesus that your grandmother, my grandmother, and all of them had up in the church, and all the black churches had up, and the slave master put over your head. It's the same person. Same person. Same long hippie hair, same beard, same sloppy, bummy, hippie, white man. It's the same Greek god, same Roman god, same white god, uh, Christian god. Y'all worship all the same person. Don't believe that nonsense with the Israelites be talking about about some Caesar Bogier. You understand? That's not where that came from. That name, they say Caesar Bogier, but then where did the name Jesus come from? They They can't tell you that. They'll say Caesar Bogier. You know, they made that up. The real origin of the name comes from an amalgamation of Jupiter and Zeus. You can see it right there. Right? You can see the look right there. It's right and exact. But then they'll turn around and they'll say, see, they don't totally want to give up the story because, see, the white man, he did a good job on these Negroes, you know, with the whole Jesus thing. So, you know, they don't want to totally give up this story. So they'll say that somebody named Yahshua existed. Right? And they'll try to paint him black. But you ever see this? It's funny. The, the Rastas do this. You see the one picture we have in the news feed of the, uh, uh, Rastafari and Jesus? You know? You ever see that? You see the, 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 the Jesus with the dreads? And I said, you know what? Just because you want to make a lie, put cover a lie in blackface don't mean it's the truth. And that's what these niggas do. They, they paint this uh, Jesus character black. Right? And they'll say, oh, Christ is a black man, right? Yahshua, Yahweh These are all made-up names. I said in the thing, somebody said, Yahshua is a real person. I said, where? Where, Where's the picture of Yahshua? Why can't y'all produce a picture? You know? They can't produce a picture. They make up pictures. You mean to tell me this famous man, black man, whatever, you you got all these pictures of the Egyptians all over, even minor Egyptians. You mean to tell me there's no picture of this Yahshua person? Y'all can't get one picture. Then the Israelites play around and say, oh, well, he was a black man. Then he was a man of color, but he was black or dark-skinned man. They play around with the words because, see, they, what it is, they want to include everybody who's of dark skin because they want to be part of this We Are the World campaign where they thank everybody, the Mexicans and all of them are their brothers. So now, so Jesus has to become a dark-skinned man. They'll stay away from the word black. Then they'll, they might jump off the black from time to time. Okay. But the fact of the matter is, there is no Yahshua either. And no, there's no, that Joshua that you're talking about in the Old Testament is not no Jesus. Or Yeshua, that's not any, that's not Jesus. The story or the description of that Yahshua in the Old Testament does not fit the New Testament Jesus. So y'all need to stop telling lies. Okay? You need to stop telling lies. 
because you wanna, because you niggas still wanna hold on to Jesus Christ, because you wanna paint him in a black face, because the white man put that BS in your head when you don't even wanna try and find out who the real son of man is. And where did that whole terminology come from? Son of man, son of God. You don't want to find out who that is. You would rather go with the white man's version of it and just put blackface on it and, and be done with it. Because y'all niggas is that brainwashed. Y'all that brainwashed. You understand that? You can't prove nothing, but you'll sit up here all day and argue about Jesus and Yahshua and Yahweh You know what? Y'all part of the confusion. You're the reason why the real son of man can't reveal himself or take hold in the minds of our people because you niggas are helping spread confusion and lies because you want to hold on because you've become black Caucasians in your mind. That's what you are when you take this white person, this white Jesus Christ character and paint him in blackface and you think by doing that you made it right because you niggas want to tell lies, can't prove anything, can't back up anything. You understand? You can't produce a picture. Hell, the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus got more validity than your Jesus Christ because at least it's a picture of them. You understand? If we went with that, y'all don't need to have a picture except for something in sharp paint. Now, some of you will run to the book of Revelation and say that, oh, that's Christ in the Bible, and that's Christ in the uh, uh, book of Revelation. No, it's not. That's just a title. That's not a person. That's not an actual person that's being described in the book of Revelation. That's just a person with a title. That's actually the Son of Man. Now, the Son of Man is real. That is a real person. reason why I say that the book of Revelation is not part of the New Testament is because it's a futuristic book. You can tell that book was added. You can tell it came from our people because I said one of our people's uh, uh, abilities – or mental capabilities was to look into the future and tell and see what was going on and, and prophesy or, or write down things of the past, um, from that was going to happen in the future. That wasn't a, that wasn't anything from the white man. You understand? Don't all that Nostradamus crap. Most of that stuff Nostradamus got he got from reading from other people and he got from reading from um, old biblical stuff. You understand? So don't believe that's not anything that they know. You understand? That they write about the they they the ones that lie about the history. And lie about the present. We were the masters of the future. We were the ones that were writing the future out. As the leaders of the future, that was one of our capabilities, to see into the future. You understand? That's how we stayed ahead of everybody. However, the beast is doing that on earth today where he's controlling the future, controlling what you eat down the line five years from now, what you're going to be spending, how much money you're going to have, this, that, and the third. He's controlling. He's trying to take hold of the future while you Negroes are stuck in the past. Why are you still going through this whole Jesus thing and you know and all this other nonsense? You understand? You're not trying to figure out who the true Son of Man is, or what this word, the title Son of Man, really means. See, because there is a Son of Man, right? That son, that title Son of Man, did not come out of the Bible. That's an old terminology. It, come, it goes back as far as the Sumerians. You understand? Even further back, the Egyptians used that title Son of Man. Amen Ra, or Amen Ray, son of man, a son of Amen, was saying S U N, the son of Amen, which is where they got the son of God from, or where they got the idea of Jesus Christ from, because Jesus Christ is supposed to be a son of man, or a son of God. The son of God is not the S O N, it's the S U N. Son represents light or intelligence, equals light and intelligence. So when they're talking about a son of man, that is many sons of men who have came to people who have come to civilizations who were far ahead of everybody and taught them. So sons of men, men who are inspired and receive intelligence from the true and living God, constantly come forward. That's always happening. So what these theologians, these lying theologians did in the, in the church, they just added their Jesus Christ to that group of son of that son of men, those group of um, men who were highly intelligent. Because as I said, sunlight represents intelligence. Light or brightness, when they say you're very bright, represents intelligence. As also in the Illuminati, when they say they are the illuminated ones, the bright ones, represents intelligence. They said that their Jesus, reason why their so-called Jesus in the in the Bible had. Twelve disciples, and there you go with the number twelve again. One and two is three. Reason why he had twelve disciples, like I said, twelve, twelve tribes of Israel. Reason why he had twelve disciples is because that represented twelve wise men, or twelve elect men 
who could understand and be able to get the knowledge that he was putting down that was supposed to be coming from the true and living God that he was getting on earth. He was receiving intelligence from God, according to the story. That's where his power came from. They said directly from God, which they got from the son of man or the son of Amun or the Amun Ray. Because as I said before, only an elect or a chosen few people will receive the true knowledge of God. It's not going to be for everybody. You understand? It's not going to be for everybody. Yeah, we know. I mean, you got a lot of uh, uh, you got a lot of uh, um, uh, uh, Sepharis, and you got a lot of a lot of this story. A lot of those stories you see a constant repeats of older stories. They're constant repeats. They just use different names. Same stories, same people that came through. They change names. That's all. I know there's no person named Yahshua. I said the word Yahshua or Shua. Shu is a, is the Egyptian falcon god. Shu, which is where they got the word um, Shu and Yahshua from. S H U comes from the ancient Egyptian or the ancient Kemetic language of falcon god. You understand? They can't prove that a Jesus Christ ever existed. Yet this character is prominent in all three religions. How does that? How do you figure? So if this character is prominent in all three religions, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity, and this character never existed, that means that these all three of these religions are false. Because in the Quran, is a, uh, there's a whole chapter dedicated to Jesus and Mary. Isa, uh, the, cha- ca- um, the chapter Isa ibn Maryam, that is a chapter in, um, chapter in the Quran. So how is there a chapter in the Quran? Talking about Isa ibn Maryam, if there is no Jesus. Now, Muslims will swear up and down there is a Jesus, but where is it? Prove it. Prove that he existed. Prove that a Jesus Christ existed. Because according to them, they say that the Bible is tampered with. So if the Bible is tampered with and the Bible mentioned Jesus Christ first, then how are y'all going to sit up here and talk about the Muslims talking about they believe in Jesus? Because Jesus is introduced in the New Testament. And the Romans and the Greeks are responsible for the New Testament because all over the New Testament you see Book of Romans, Book of, uh, uh, Book of Thessalonians. These are all Roman and Greek words. But yet you okay with Jesus, right? You okay with the name Jesus. How is that? How, how is it that you okay with Jesus? Like you handpicked who and what you wanted to accept. The Muslims wanted to accept Jesus, but you mean to tell me the, the book is tampered, the Bible is tampered with, which you get your Quran out of, but you accept Jesus that comes out of that tampered book? Because Muhammad said he was the seal of the prophet because he's after him? You understand? Now, here's a problem. Because if you know, Muhammad comes behind this person, right, and he claims to be after Jesus, and there is no Jesus, then Muhammad's claim is, is false too. This is why you'll see the Muslims fight so hard for Jesus, because he's saying that he is the successor to Jesus. But then if there's no Jesus, uh, there's a problem, right? The Israelites, they was only dealing with the Old Testament. They wasn't even dealing with the New Testament, right? Now, it you know... They say that Muhammad's wife was a Catholic. This was this one of the stories, and that he was around a lot of Catholic and Christian missionaries, right? And they talked about Jesus. Now, if he claimed that he had a vision from God, wouldn't God have told him that there this God, this omnipotent, omnipresent God that he heard a voice from? Wouldn't it have said that there is no Jesus? Since you said he told you that the, the, that you had this inspiration that the Bible was false, that means all the characters are false in there too. Or did you handpick what you wanted to go with? Like a lot of people do. Hmm. Strange how this uh, Jesus person just disappeared. You're talking about from twelve, age twelve to thirty. That's the same time that uh, 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 Horus, the Egyptian. Uh, 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 character of Horus, I believe it was Horus who d- disappeared. There's a gap in Horus's life, or Haru, an ancient Egyptian character whose mother is a, a, a set, or Isis. Right? How, how, how's that? How, 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 isn't, that's that's uh, really coincidental. And that it is um, symbolic of the number three all over again, and 12 throughout the book. 
talking about the elect people. And that was always even going, they got that back from Egypt, where the elect people, your, your um, pharaohs, your priests of Amun, they were the only ones who had the true knowledge of Amun. That, that represented your elect. That was your ancient elect people. Just like today with the Freemasons and the white man, they got the true knowledge of Amun. They're not going to share it with you. They'll keep y'all meandering around and believing in some false god called Allah or Jesus Christ or Yahweh Shah and all this. They'll let you deal with the lesser mystery while they're trying to connect with Amun as the elect. The, and I always said that the elect, a chosen few, will have the true knowledge of God. Just as it said, and it follows out in the book of Revelation, they talk about 144,000, 12 tribes each. 12 times 12 is 144, right? Now, that would be an elect group of people, 144,000. Now, you imagine that out of uh, millions of people on the earth, that only an elect few would have the knowledge of God. Everybody else would be in darkness. Everybody else would be in a mystery state, just like you see right now in Islam and Christianity and Judaism. they calling on a bunch of false gods. they pray praying to the east. Looking for a mystery God, somebody who's a spook, somebody who's unseen, right? But where did they get that whole hidden thing of God from? From Amun, because one of Amun's attributes is that he is the hidden. So, of course, they followed suit with their Allah and their God and their Jesus and all that, that these people didn't have any image as well. They kept that whole uh, mindset going. But what they didn't understand about Amun is that the ancient Egyptians or the ancient Nubians in them, they produced pictures of Amun. They produced, they produced statues of Amun. They said that they were the descendants of Amun. That's something that the church didn't do. You understand? That's something that they didn't do. They didn't produce any images of this Jesus Christ. They just took the Greco-Roman ones and just went with that. You understand? And because you Negroes got brainwashed into this Jesus thing, which a lot of y'all still are, because even so-called conscious ones, even the people that got this knowledge of self nonsense, y'all still believe, uh, y'all had no problem putting on crosses and putting on the white Jesus um, picture. Y'all had no, not, y'all had no problem putting that up. Why did y'all have no problem putting up the, um, putting on the white Jesus? Right? You had no problem putting that on. If you look at the thorns. If you look at the thorns on uh, uh, Jesus' head, it's the same as the crown of leaves that the Romans wore. It's the same thing. They just took the leaves off. It's all the same thing. The crown of thorns is the leaves of the, of the leaves that the uh, um, Romans wore on their head. You understand? The Romans or the Greeks, I believe, they wore the, the crown of leaves on their head. You know? This is all game. This is all games to get you to worship um, ancient mythological false gods, made up gods, and y'all still continuing to this day. You black people, you know our people, they they linked Negroes is in the dark, and it's the biggest joke going. Y'all the biggest joke going. Y'all were the ones who had the light. Now y'all in darkness. Y'all worshiping Islam. You praying to mystery gods. You worshiping uh, Allah. And you black men even calling yourself Allah. You understand? Some false god. 